So last time I finished fiberglassing in the cockpit supports. So I apologise that there hasn't been a video for a little while as I've had other work commitments and it's been hard to get down the boat yard. As you'll see from this video, I've managed to get the exhaust through hole fitting off and then it's a case of grinding all these holes and try and fill in all seven of them. Firstly, I had to crawl through and yes, I have got my phone with me because I've got an old GoPro without a screen on it. I'm not that fancy yet, but firstly, I had to crawl through and actually get to the exhaust manifold I used some plumber's wrench, I think it's called, and just undid the through hole fitting. This was so I could push it through and give myself a bit more space to cut the through hole fitting out. And what a great opportunity for a nice little time lapse. So as you can see, I used my oscillating saw to cut through the through hole fitting. At first, I thought it wasn't going to manage to do it, but it ended up doing it all right. So after cutting the through hole out, I could actually lever and get the exhaust fitting out, which still had the tube on, which made it a little bit more difficult. Next, I taped inside the hole to stop all the dust going in when I started grinding, but also needed to give it a little bit of a wipe down with some acetone and a cloth I had, and I just made it more messy. So I had some advice from someone from the yard on the size to grind out. Now my intention here is to fill all seven holes. So I'm going to be a bit over the top with how I actually plug these holes. I'm going to grind on the outside and grind on the inside as well. So it comes to a point. And then I'm going to fill with some thickened epoxy to form a plug and then fiberglass over the outside and the inside. So the work I'm doing is going to be quite extensive, but it's worthwhile as I don't know the state of the boat. Now, I did try my shroud that goes over the angle grinder and then discovered that the plastic stops me from actually grinding, which defeats the purpose of it. So using a flappy disc on my grinder without the shroud, I then ground a 12 to 1 bevel out on all the holes. And that's on the inside and the outside. So as you can imagine, that's what's taken up most of my couple of weeks. And it's not very interesting. So I'm going to speed this up a bit and get to the end of this as soon as I can. I did have to give the inside of the boat a complete clear out though before I started grinding inside. But I did find something that made a perfect template. So I then went round the boat and marked out all the grinding spots inside. So I couldn't film whilst I was grinding inside the boat, I think I would have ruined my camera. But I managed to get all the holes ground out from the inside and outside. Next was to cut the template. I had some masking paper left over so I just cut them roughly to the size I needed. Using the paper I traced out the outline of the inner hole and also the outer edge of where I've ground down.
Now with all my templates cut of all the holes, it's just time to take them back to the workshop and cut out all the fabric. Back down the yard and I've traced an outline of where I want a plug to go that's made out of cardboard to stop all the thickened epoxy leaking out. Now I covered the cardboard with some black plastic liner. The shape of the circle cut out in the middle as well, as you can see. I added some pill ply over the top and that was to guarantee that everything came off and I didn't stick an extra part to the boat. Then it's just a case of cleaning down again with some more acetone and getting the surface ready before I put the back of the plug on. Then I just simply sellotaped this to the hole and then realised I had to take it off again because I hadn't put the thinned epoxy on the peel ply. So once all of that was sellotaped to the side of the hole, it was simply a case of mixing up some thickened epoxy and squeezing as much in there as I can and covering it with some pill ply just so it's easy to sand down and fiberglass over at the end. And I held it with a small metal pole just to make sure it didn't fall off. But you're going to have to wait until Sunday to see how it all turned out. <laughs>